The inquest focused on the discovery of Nigel Perotti's body in bushland at Chermside on Brisbane's north. Police had undertaken a major manhunt for the 32-year-old following the shooting of three officers after a neighbourhood dispute. I suppose on the, on the part of the family and the people that were involved in the police incident, uh, a, a little bit of closure, I suppose, but um, to make sure that everything has been, uh, has been investigated thoroughly. After hearing police evidence, Coroner Christine Clements handed down her findings. She said, I am satisfied on all the evidence that it's most likely that Mr Perotti inflicted the gunshot wound that killed him. The coroner's court heard Nigel Perotti died from a single gunshot wound to the head. A .22 Ruger rifle was found lying beside his body. Neighbour Robert Allen defended his friend, saying Nigel Perotti was a caring person. He was a normal person, just like me and you. He was saddened by the coroner's findings. He had told me that he'd never go to jail um, for, for, for the actions that he was going to take. And that's where I believe he wasn't himself because he wouldn't have done that like, to himself. The coroner expressed her sympathy and condolences to the families involved. Deirdre Hazel, ABC News.